All right, gravity, or to the grave I tie. So let's, are we tying ourselves to an illusionary concept that we've just told and everybody seemed to have bought because scientists are generally, you know, emotionally retarded little children prove themselves to the father without the capacity of subconscious mind thought with a quality cat. Generally, yes. So we're told 9.8 meters per second per second is the standard for everything that drops to the earth. Well, hang on. You can test this so quickly and easily for yourself. Oh look, I've got four different things here and are they gonna all drop at the same rate? Of course not. No chance now. Uh, hang on, if I use that same tape and I drop it when I've coiled it up, it drops faster. Oh look. So how can we have a standard rate of things that are falling to the earth? Uh, Nah, it's not possible. This would go against everything we know about flight and aerodynamics. Uh, birds, even as a kid, you made a paper airplane. It will go and fall to the earth at a different rate than if you scrunched it up and pegged it at your mate. Ah, perfect timing for that, huh? Catch the juice reflexes a bit. So, if my phone's going to drop, and then I go down and look down as well, and my whole alignment and spinal alignment goes down how perfect timing is that then my whole entire subconscious perspective and thought patterns and my body is looking down down towards hell down towards the grave I time my perception and so the mind definitely does that digestion does as well so it's easy to fall into that category but if we haven't got quality gut health that's why people are thinking that way in that perception so if we have quality gut health and we've colon cleansed and we're feeling good and safe and secure, we've got good practices, we start to look upwards. We ask questions. I mean, even as children, we ask questions, right? We should have seen through these things quite early because we practice them. And then we have learned behaviors from society and old toxic adults generally who think, no, nah, no, nah, that can't be right. They can't think for themselves. So they just take on the matrix societies norms and behaviors and thought patterns so let's have a look at the front the chakra or the uh, endocrine gland system it goes up the body right if we tie ourselves to our base and we're looking down all the time in a subservient position we're always going to be subservient to the matrix and we're not in touch with our soul our farm and the solar plexus was to enlighten the mind or enlightenment it's up here we have to be looking up into the heavens or into asking questions into the front brain the neofrontal cortex to awaken ourselves and awaken our perception to get ourselves out of essentially the slavery system that we've been placed into that we did subconsciously choose but let's make the most of it shall we so by create heaven on earth which means we have to get our endocrine system clean and clear so we can look up and still be down practical here on earth doing the things that we normally do staying practical and balanced instead of being fluffy and the fluffy people are generally the ones with the big guts because they've got lots of air and fluffiness in their subconscious perspective so up to you but it's quite easy you can do your own little gravity type practices to prove it to yourself it's much easier to accept it, especially if you just look at the word. So, do you choose an enlightenment or to the grave I tie? Up to you.